I may not know you individually, but here's what I do know. I know you work too hard to be this broke. And I know many of you in the room today, you make too much money to be this broke. It's time to flip the script on what wealth building and walking in abundance means for us today. The wealth matrix gets rid of those old paradigms that are stale, pale, and male and replaces them with customized financial plans that work for you. Let me tell you a little bit about why so many professionals fail to build wealth. First of all, many of us have been sold into this dream that in order to succeed in life, we have to work hard, keep our nose down, don't cause any trouble. Oh, and let's not forget, be safe, don't rock the boat. Until somewhere in our midlife, we realize that all we have been doing is building somebody else's dream. Then we get a little wiser. What do we do? What do we do? I know many people in the room today have done exactly this. We decide we're going to start our own business. That's right. We are going to take charge of our lives and we are going to work for our dream, not somebody else's. We get into it, we start our passion business, and then what happens? Oh, wait a second. We discover that entrepreneurship is not sitting on the beach, sipping on drinks, playing around while the money just rolls in without us having to work. And between managing payroll, managing vendors, engagements, gigs, proposals, many entrepreneurs end up burnt out or they spend so much money trying to make it big that they themselves fail to succeed. And instead of making more money, instead of the big profits that it looks like on paper, instead, all they have accumulated is a mountain of debt. And Warren Buffett says, we have to leave our children something more than debt. Let me tell you something else that's very important to me. One of the ways that the wealth matrix helps people succeed is not just wealth management strategies, although those are important. It's also increasing our income. And a lot of times that's through increasing our value at work or as an entrepreneur. As a 23 year scientist in the Air Force, the first black to be a physicist in the military, I had to learn communication and relationship building skills that many scientists don't have in order for me to succeed in a world that was not quite ready for JJ Conway. I quickly discovered that many scientists lack those communication and diversity skills, those communication and leadership skills. And what happens as a result is that you find many unqualified people in technical leadership positions. 